In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the fabulously optimized mod pack for Fabric, and this also works for like literally every other mod, so yeah. But it has all these FPS boosting mods and mods that boost your performance in general. So it's pretty helpful, and now I'll show you how to get it. Your browser, whether it be Safari, Chrome, Google, whatever you use, and type CurseForge download. Once you're in this and this loads, you're going to go down to this link, worldwidewebcurseforge.com. I'll leave a link in the description to this exact page. And click on that. Then it'll show you all the games that it has, like mods and whatever. Uh, Minecraft, I think. Yeah, Minecraft has the most mods by far among all of these. And then you're going to go hit CurseForge app. And then since I'm on Mac, it's going to show the Mac download. If you're on Windows or whatever, it should show the Windows option. But if it takes you to the wrong one, hit more download options, and then you can click Windows, Mac, or Linux. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. But basically what you're going to do, at least on Mac, I don't know how it works on Windows, hit download, it'll take you to the, your downloads area, and then you're going to hit the DMG and make it an app. Once it's an app, you're going to click on the CurseForge app. The first time you launch it, it's going to say, forging your library obviously but it's going to take a bit longer for the first time you ever launch it because it needs to download all the possible options and just like the, some of the general app this won't take more than a few minutes and for you it might run very quickly my computer is not very good <laughs> all right now that you're here you're going to start on the forge homepage, and you're going to select minecraft because that's what we're downloading the mod for and as you can see here they have curse forge has a ton of other mods as well which these are just the ones I've downloaded. But then right here is the fabulously optimized mod pack. So to get this, you're going to want to type fabulously optimized mod pack or just fabulously optimized. It'll come up and it'll show up right here. So then you click on this. And so let's say I want to play this for 1.18.2. 1.19.1 is out. So if we want to play 1.18.2, we're going to hit versions and then select the version right here. So if I want to hit this, I'm going to hit 1.18.2 download, click on that and it'll install. And it'll go through all the mods. And now once that is done, you're going to hit play. And I already have that one that I record the intro on, so I'm just going to hit continue because it's warning me because I have two and it doesn't want me to like mess something up or in case I'm like getting hacked. And once you click that, the Minecraft launcher will pop up. The only difference will be it's not going to be the normal Minecraft launcher you have. Like it's still going to be your account. The first time you do this, you do need to sign in. Uh, it might, if you're signed in on CurseForge, automatically do that. But if you go to installations, it's just going to be this. Uh, if you want to change how much RAM, just go more options and change this. So right now it's trying to boot it up with over 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is more than my current computer has. So we're going to do 3000 megabytes, which is equal to 3 gigabytes of RAM, and hit save. We have that done, we can click play, and it'll start to boot up. Once it does, it'll pop up right here, and it's kind of got a little bit of scuff to it, but if you hit the full screen option uh, on Mac, that's that. If you do that, it'll go back to normal and it'll look completely normal. This dark screen is actually a mod itself, and you are able to configure the colors of this if you would like. Once it loads, you'll notice it says there's 45 mods down there. Another thing you may notice if you have a texture pack on is your texture pack is gone. You'll have all these, but these are just like the mod ones. So I don't know why this is, but what, for whatever reasons, it resets everything. I've added these to myself, and all single player worlds are removed, so yeah. Uh, if you want to configure the mods, they have the mod menu mod already. There are, as you saw earlier, 45, all based towards getting the basic Optifine feel, as well as good mods to help FPS, plus just some helpful mods in general. Unfortunately, these do not have any that are that show like FPS or anything, so you're going to have to go to the F3 menu if you want to see that. But if you want to go open the mods folder, then you'll be able to take those mods out and add it to your normal fabric if you already have fabric. Once we join a server, you're going to notice your skin is the same, but your keybinds may not be depending on what you have them on. 
Also, your video settings are going to be completely reset. You're going to have a lot of options thanks to all the mods in here such as sodium, lithium, phosphor, like all these mods are really helpful for FPS and they add a bunch of special options. So you're going to have all these and that will give you a good FPS boost. So typically I get around 10 to 15 FPS when I'm recording. In this lobby, in the PvP Legacy lobby, since there's usually a lot of players and as you can see here there are a decent amount and I have a lot of lag spikes. Typically I'll get like 13 FPS even when I'm not recording in this. So the fact that I'm getting nearly 30 while I'm recording says this mod pack is very good. Um, I'm kind of on a MacBook Air right now which is not the best for FPS. So right now it's as you can see definitely going to be low. Uh, if you're on something better that has like actual decent frames then you're going to notice a probably bigger spike. Not like a bad spike, like a good spike. A good lag spike. No. No. An FPS boost. That's that's what it not a not not a good lag spike. An FPS boost. Whatever. Uh, if you want to add more resource packs, you're gonna have to do this. It is going to be in the Curse Forge thing, I'm pretty sure, like all the files. So it's gonna be like getting Minecraft on a new device, is the general gist of this. Anyways, that's how you install the fabulously optimized mod pack. If you're going to install like any other mods, it's gonna be the same effect, except everything on this is client side, so you can just join any server and all of these will work. However, if you were to download, let's say, Jurassic Craft, go join PvP Legacy. There's not going to be dinosaurs everywhere trying to kill you while you're 1v1ing. Uh, kind of getting my shot here. That kind of thing is called a server side and that's only going to show up on single player worlds or multiplayer worlds that have that plugin installed specifically and you have all the necessary mods for it. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm grinding for 1,000 subscribers and I'm going to be getting a new computer soon, which hopefully will give me better FPS so that I can record better videos. So yeah, you're not going to want to miss those. Uh, yeah, see ya.